Hey there, <clears throat> this is a uh, an unboxing video for the new Vex Robotics BattleBots Minotaur set, which has just been released as of I think the 1st of August, and uh, it retails for $39.99, and it's available now on websites like Target.com and, and on the Hexbug.com website as well. It's a really cool looking set. If you're familiar with the BattleBots TV show, Minotaur was one of the best robots on the show. Really cool. Um, <clears throat> this set has that iconic spinning drum, and it's got a couple of some cool new wheels that uh, I don't think uh, have been out before. And um, <clears throat> it says here that. Uh, it's targeted for ages 8 through 16 and uh, it's got a manual with 62 pages the difficulty level is the highest which is 5 that should be interesting to see how hard it is to put together it's got over 345 pieces in the box uh, it's push drive, it's not motorized at all but uh, there might be some potential for putting a <clears throat> of XIQ with the motor possibly in there with the to do some remote control motorized driving. We'll have to have a look at that, see if that how hard that would be. But you can see on the back some of the in the innards of it, how it's constructed. Looks like there's some new body panels. New pieces here that are looking pretty cool. We'll have a look at the pieces once we get it open. But the wheels definitely look like they're nice. And <clears throat> the Minotaur was one of my favorite uh, robots. I don't know if they'll be a good use for the cylinder pieces uh, outside something like this or decorative parts, but uh, the cylinder piece is a new part as well. The disc has been around for a while. This piece here um, it looks like it's got a long axle as well. Which it's cool. The other axle here that they show looks like it's pretty long. <clears throat> and it's got some thin sheet plastic pieces, decorative pieces like the, the one they show here for the top. So let's uh, get it out and, and have a look inside. There's the manual. It looks like one of their new high quality instruction manuals. Uh, all the sets that came out late last year and, and this year have really nice instructions with guides at the start for measuring lengths, counting holes, instructions for how to remove connectors, uh, some information to remind people that when you're looking at the instructions you have to pay close attention look carefully at the orientation so they show that this one is flat side down, this one is flat side up <clears throat> they tell you that you make sure you count the holes before you connect and uh, that you can check the pieces against the actual size each manual page first, well they've got the inventory at the front but when you get into the steps they've got, you know in many cases things like this which would be a one-to-one -one length for the axle to help you check and make sure on the standoffs as well they'll have a one-to-one -one picture even on the pin they'll have a they have here like a one-to-one -one show showing the size of the pin <coughs> and of course the parts these are really good manuals they definitely improved over the last couple of years uh, these are really good uh, once upon a time you know they may have been black and white or shades of gray and really hard to see the parts and recognize the difference in colors but I like the, the new ones a lot <clears throat> and they've got a really good inventory of all the parts at the front you got a here one of the differential gears so it's one that I haven't don't recall using in a set before so that that's interesting it'll be interesting to see how that works 
and there's a, a few new pieces. This one is a connector piece that's new to this set and some of the other sets this year. That's an interesting piece. The tires for the for the wheels are, are definitely new. I think there's a few other new parts. Certainly these body panels and the cylinder piece are all new. This is an interesting new part. I'm not sure. I think it's just mostly decorative. I, it's used to kind of form the front <coughs> wedge portion on the Minotaur. I don't know for sure how useful it will be as a, a part that you can reuse. It's got some nice big panel. Uh, I guess I'd call them, uh, they're not panels, but they're uh, the four wide beams, <coughs> plates, I guess is what would be the right term. And uh, this one here is a 4 by 16 which is a nice long um, part. I think that's actually a new part. I don't know if you can get the 4 by 16 in any other set. 4 by 12 is one that's been around for a while, it's nice. Size plate, half half of the 12, oh, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. So let's see instructions, and inside the instructions are this, uh, is this thin sheet piece, and it looks like some transparent stickers, it's a Minotaur. That's interesting. They put that. These parts, I think, must have been missing and were added. Go ahead and open it up. This is one of the new. Body panels. That's pretty cool that they've got the uh, the grid pattern where the holes would normally be on like a plate on the inside. Nice and smooth, and it has connectors on the end to put them together. And it looks like that'll be pretty versatile. There's, there's four, maybe, maybe eight of those. This tire is okay, so it's just a an empty shell, so it's not not quite what I was expecting. I was thinking it'd be a solid tire, but still, it's pretty cool. Two of those, of course. That's the hub. That's a new wheel. Looks pretty cool. But yeah, putting that together will be. It's always a little bothersome to get there. Interesting. Another type of panel is, has that slope to it. That's pretty cool. So it's not quite as long as that one. Has the connectors on the side. This is a, a 4x12. And then the 4x16. That's a cool. That's a 3 by This is nice. Never seen the three, so it looks like that's three by ten. That's a different size. Interesting. Nice yellow two by two by ten. 
and cylinders are kind of cool. Connectors on the edge or on the on the back. So you could actually make it like a a trough or something like that. <clears throat> panels smaller connect part you know connecting pin holes on this face on the bottom that's nice so four of these two of these and two of the smaller <coughs> So four of each type, that's nice. A little bit of chain. I don't know if you've used chain in Vexaiku construction. If you've been on a team, you probably have. I've used a lot of the chain before in uh, some of the ball machines that I took to the World Championships last year. The chain, it looks like it will be used pretty in an interesting way for this particular device that drives the drives the uh, cylinder that's cool so you've got uh, four axles here this is the differential gear we'll see how that gets used in a bit The little pins in this bag. These bags are very hard to open. A pair of scissors are kind of handy. Cool. The little pins are a dark, a dark gray color. I've got blue pins, I've got white pins, I've got other colors, but I don't. Never had this color of pins before, so that's a that's a new color for the pins. I think there might be some new might be some new pins in here, but I don't I don't know. We'll have to see. But I don't think so. And this guy has various connectors and gears. Also hard to open on the tear. I guess it's a lot easier to open than the tear on the edge. This is one of those new pieces that I've never seen before. Looks interesting. I think it's going to get used in a few of the sets this year. That's cool. It's one of the sprockets for the chain drive. This is that uh, new piece. It's used at the front as the slope, but uh, kind of the wedge at the front of the Minotaur that is used to lift up robots. <coughs> your collection of parts once you take it apart. I think I'll have mine put together for a long time though. So that's a, it's, it's a cool display model and I think it'll be fun to play with. And these gears I think are actually a little different. I think these are new as well. Um, I think it has fewer teeth than the old bevel gear. Yeah, it looks beefier. I'll have to check that, but yeah, it looks different. 
that's cool. So that's what's inside, and uh, I will come back and show you how it's put together and how you play with it. Thank you.